this part will be a bit difficult. So, we will do renormalization group of the turbulent flow, but I am going to take a simple example. Okay, so let us uh, so that was kind of overview of turbulence phenomenology, but now we can do some field theory. Okay. Um, so, in fact, the idea is that we had this viscosity, you know, which was L to the power fourth third diffusion coefficient. Can we derive this from field theory? So, you see the viscosity is increasing with L. So, we had viscosity nu L, which is L to the power fourth third epsilon one third. So, L is increasing, no? It is similar to what we did for Wilson theory, where my parameter the mass parameter okay uh, r r r was a parameter which was changing with scale in fact we did mass renormalization of five four theory it was changing with scale right so that is what we would like to do here but it is a non equilibrium system so there will be some differences okay so that's uh, let's let's get started so i will renormalize the viscosity of not the navier stokes equation but a simpler model of navier stokes equation Called shell model. Okay, the field theory is simpler here. We'll do Navier-Stokes uh, later in the next class, possibly, and uh, let's start with shell model. Okay. So shell model has fewer variables. One drastic assumption is that we divide this 3D sphere into shells, overlapping shell. Well, not overlapping, but different the shells like this. So, this is shell with radius k n, k n plus delta. Okay. So, this is a this is u n, u n is a velocity field. So, in real flow, we will have a lot of Fourier modes, and each Fourier mode has a velocity, right. But in shell model, we just give one number u n. So, instead of k square modes having different different values, but I have single way number called u n. Okay. Now, that is one. Second is wave number of the shells. So, cell radius is basically specified the uh, of the k that goes as power law. So, k n is k naught b to power n. Okay. So, the first radius is k naught. So, I can draw this stuff here k naught. Next is k 1 which is b times k naught b squared k naught b cube k naught like this. It is in log space, huh? is li is linear in log space, but if you look at the real uh, in linear scale, this will be this gap will be bigger. B is greater than one. Okay, B is greater than one. So this gap will keep increasing. Okay, so this is called shell model, and we'll also make another assumption that this shell in so we had interaction right uh, u dot grad u that had interaction u p u q p p plus q is equal to k. So, any p can interact with k right. So, if you have wave number k then this p can be any size, but in shell model we do not allow that. We say that k n will act only with modes few modes in fact 5 modes ok, 2 in the left and 2 in the right. So, I will show you that uh, model now. So, this is a model. So, d by dt of u n. So, my new Stokes equation has been greatly simplified this one. My viscous term is nu bar k n squared. This is a kinematic viscosity. Now, the look at the nonlinear term. It is so this k n ok. So, it is interacting with two modes to the right u n plus 1 u n plus 2 this n plus 1 n plus 2. The next is 1 to the left and 1 to the right. So, 1 to the left and 1 to the right, right. This is 1 to the left, 1 to the right. Third is 2 in the left, n minus 1 and n minus 2. So, as I said, these are basically 5 modes that are involved in interaction. I do not, this k, k u n does not interact with shell here, does not interact. Okay. This is called local, which has been proven to be correct, well, proven to be valid for. Navier Stokes, uh, especially in 3D. 2D has some issues, but uh, 3D it works. 
So now what? Now start doing. Uh, if you recall Wilson theory, huh? please we got to go back to Wilson theory. So what did you do in uh, Wilson theory? I want to see what is the viscosity at different scale. So the new bar will change. So my new bar basically is a very large n new bar. But I keep going to the left, means I keep coarse graining, and coarse graining means I I remove this variable and see the effect of it. So my viscosity will increase. Then I do it here, I increase. Okay. So my viscosity keeps increasing with scale. I am going to show you. This will happen here in this proof, uh, in this uh, scheme. Uh, that is what happens in atmosphere. Atmosphere, the diffusion coefficient is bigger and bigger as you go to higher scales. That's why pollution is uh, spreads at different uh, bigger scale. Okay. So the idea is to divide this wave number. So I'm going to make some. Uh, in fact, following Wilson, we're not going to do it step by step for all of them. We just focus on Kn in the inertia range. So imagine Kn is the inertia range, and see the effect of k n minus n plus 1 n plus 2 and assume that when I came here I already have viscosity modified. So, viscosity, so I came from here all the way, but I am doing the my calculation here in this part. Is that clear? I am not going to do all the steps. So, we are going to see at k n what is the effect of n plus 1 and n plus 2 and how does it how is un going to be modified? So, the idea is okay. So, I, I take one more step back. So, a1, a2, a3 are there is a constraint that a1 plus a2 plus a3 is 1, and there is one more constraint which we will ignore. But the coefficient we choose for our, uh, our work is this a1, a2, a3 is this. What happened? Oh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. sorry, sorry, 0, yes. The sum is 0, sum is 0. Okay. So, let us look at turbulent case in the inertia range. Okay. So, this one uh, uh, intermediate slide. So, uh, it turns out for uh, shell model which is mimicking uh, Navier Stokes uh, mod u n squared. So, this is not the spectrum, right? Spectrum is mod u n squared by k n. So, Remember, E k is u n square divided by k. So, u n, so this is phi third. So, C n will be k minus two third. I take this k n and multiply there. So, C n is k to the power two third. Epsilon is the dissipation rate, it is two third and full moore constant. And the energy flux is constant. And this has been verified by many simulations. Once the simulation is here. Uh, you can look at uh, this is a spectrum which is multiplied by k two third, and uh, there are two runs, but uh, ignore the two runs, the red line. So the spectrum is k two third, k minus two third. It's constant because I multiply this by k two third, so this becomes one, right? And the flux is constant. Okay, this is a property of shell model, and it is also seen in Navier-Stokes equation. So, this is a non equilibrium solution which uh, I am trying to show you that okay, this indeed happens in shell model as well. Equilibrium case, the flux is 0 and uh, the every mode has equal energy. So, it is not power law minus 2 third, but it is constant and uh, this is the inside is the thing. So, uh, the C n is constant and the flux is 0. Okay. So, this is the equilibrium scenario. Okay, now let us get to RG. So, I will start the renovation group. Is okay, you can take a small break. Shell model is clear to everyone. Okay, so let us uh, now. So, it is not well, I mean, okay, it will take 15 minutes to get there, but there are uh, some details in between. RG analysis. So, this is the equation I wrote. Uh, Right before, uh, there is one thing I am not uh, focusing on. There are some are complex conjugate, some are not. Okay, and this is called Sabra cell model. Okay, uh, this is a 
uh, it has some advantages, but uh, we will not get through that part. Now, we are going to divide the shells into less shells and greater shells. Okay. So, this is my KN, this is the my lamp post or this is my marker. So, there are two modes, two shells to the right of KN. I do not then by greater and the shells to the left which is denoted by less. So, my idea is right now I have n plus 2 shells. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to see I want to average over these two shells. This is called coarse graining right we did coarse graining for uh, Wilson theory. So, your coarse grain means I am going to average over assume that uh, un plus 1 and un plus 2 are random variables with 0 mean and look at the effect of this averaging or coarse graining into viscosity this this object. Will it increase or decrease or will not won't change that is the idea. Okay. So, we are going to divide some shells to greater and some to less. So, which are the uh, un plus 1 is greater right this is the greater un plus 2 is also greater this is greater. Here one is greater and one is less I uh, this is a typo this should be less and this is greater right n minus 1 is less greater and n minus 1 n minus 2 both are le less. So, we do this coarse graining. So, coarse graining if you recall this in the theory that we average assume that this modes here are random and we average over them. So, of course, random if a single variable u n greater or u n plus 1 greater this will give you 0, but what about u n plus 1 greater u n plus 1 greater star what will that be not 0 x and x star complex conjugate is not 0. So, it is a in fact it is a spectrum. Okay. So, we have these kind of uh, quantities got mixed up. So, I am going to do some reshuffling. So, let us do the averaging now. Okay. So, uh, this is called coarse graining. So, we do coarse grain of this way this equation. So, this is a average symbol no I mean this is normal in stat mix, but coarse graining is applicable only to the modes greater modes not to the less modes. Less modes things should remain as is you do not coarse grain uh, the less modes. So, they will remain as is. So, what happens to this? This will remain as is to so, remain as is. What happens to this? Less less remain as is. So, that is remain. Uh, so, I take it to the left hand side is a minus here and the minus here becomes plus. I take it to the left hand side and this is the term minus a 3 k n minus 2 this one. Now, what happens to this term if I do uh, average? So, 1 is less 1 is greater. So, what is happens to that? So, less guys are not to be coarse grain. So, they will come out of this. So, we have u n minus 1 star u n plus 1 greater. So, this will come out okay, u n minus 1 star u n plus 1 greater and what is this? 0. So, this is 0 this term goes to 0. What about this term? 2 greater. Both are greater. So, multiply 2 random, there is no guarantee it will become 0. Okay. Had it been Gaussian, then it will be 0. But it Gaussian, right? I mean, Gaussian variable x and y, this is 0 unless x equal to y. Okay. But there is no guarantee this Gaussian. Okay. So, we will not assume any Gaussian approximation. So, this one is we need to compute this. So, I am sorry this got uh, mixed up here. So, it is minus i a 1 k n equal to. So, I retain it in the right hand side u n plus 1 greater complex conjugate and u n plus 2. So, my equation in the left is this equation in the right this this object this ob the right object. I will compute and show you that this object is some delta delta nu minus 
kn squared un less the right hand side is appears like that this will be of this form so what will it do i can take it to the left hand side and what is going to happen is new so left hand side one term is new kn squared un less so bring it to the left so plus delta nu kn squared un less so these two can get added up right and delta nu i know is positive so it turns out my new viscosity is bigger okay so that's how well as viscosity is getting enhanced so is the effect of this coarse graining this is precisely what we did in wilson theory okay there was no d by dt term there but uh, the idea remains the same okay so let's my our idea would be to compute this right hand side okay and that computation is uh, what we'll do now so i'm sorry well this is the same equation so we write this in terms of feynman diagram so this minus i a1 kn this this guy okay so the equal this bit of uh, transport from keynote to uh, ppt that was happened so minus i k1 this is the vortex this vortex okay un plus 1 star this is un plus 1 star and un plus 2 greater so these two are greater now i am going to do ex i am going to ex well right now i don't know what that thing is but i'll do expand it in terms of green's function Okay, so u n plus two I write as so this we done it before, and no? the Green's function is again coming into play. So you can write down this equation. Well, actually you should write down the original shell model. So let me just uh, I think I have it in my next slide. So basically this is the Green's function inverse. So the viscosity for new greater n plus two will be new n plus two. new n plus 2 okay so i am going to say that viscosity at scale kn is new n at scale kn plus 1 is new n plus 1 scale new n, n plus 2 is new n plus 2 viscosity is not same at all the scales they are different and at this scale is new n plus 2 k n plus 2 whole square u n plus 2 greater okay and the right hand side will have those three terms Two in the right, two in the left, and one in the left, one in the right. So, how will I write down equation for u n plus two greater? So, these are Green's function inverse. This is a time t, huh? this is a time t. So, this is time t. So, we write this integral g n plus two t minus t prime r h s at t prime d t prime. It is going from zero to t. So this is a definition. This is a definition of Green's function. And using Green's function, I derive the solution, right? I mean, uh, this is we did in the uh, one of the first few classes. So this is what you get here: new n plus two. This one, Green's function, and the vortex for the Green's function. So there is um, a vortex. RHS will have a vortex in front. So there are three terms, but it turns out the one term which is non-zero will be the three terms here. So here, what is a so? In fact, is good to write in diagram. Okay, this is the beauty of Feynman diagram. We don't need to write down all the terms. So this is remember this was u n plus one star. This is u n plus one star, right? So what should come from the left so that I get a non-zero value? If it is Gaussian, right now we will assume that uh, if it is u n plus 2, then it will be 0. So, u n plus 1, u n plus 2 average is 0. It is similar to what we have u k, u k prime average is 0 unless k, k prime equal to minus k. If the same mode, then you get non zero value, or otherwise, you have two random variables x, y average is 0. So, 0 mean. Uh, they are random they will be 0. Okay. 
So, this has to be u n plus 1. Okay. Now, you can see that u, u n plus 2, one term is u n plus 1. So, what should be the other term? RHS has three terms, the one which will non zero will be u n plus 1 and u n and the vortex is i 3 k n. Okay. So, this is the term vortex here i 3 k n, one term u n plus 1 and it goes with complex conjugate. So, that will give me a correlation function t n plus 1. T, so, this is a time t and this is a time t prime. Remember, this is a time t prime. So, these are these are bookkeeping, you have to be just do it carefully and then you get it right. So, this is the time t, the t prime, that is why I have t minus t prime. Time is stationary, if I shift the origin, it does not matter, but it is a depends only on the difference in time. So, that is the correlation function n plus 1 t minus t prime. I put a bar here for reasons which I am going to show you in a minute. And this is u n u n less t, which is same as this term. Okay. So this diagram, this part of the diagram, this one, is a number. It's in fact is integral. Well, not integral here. It's just a number. This is going to correct this new bar. This 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 new bar. Okay. This is one term, but there's another term, which is I can expand this using Green's function, right? I mean, why only expand the bottom one? You can expand the right one as well. So this is a Green's function, which is n plus one, and you do the same kind of stuff. Then you get a correlation function below, and is again u n uh, less than t. So these two diagrams, this this two, this call uh, this is self energy. This is called self energy. Okay, this is the name from particle physics and field theory, self energy diagram. And these are going to make corrections. Now, our objective is to compute this diagram, that is it, and we got the correction. Okay. So, let us do it. Now, I will next slide I am going to do this uh, algebra. I am sorry, this is 0, okay, not uh, 0 to t. So, we got uh, I, so there are three terms, but the non zero, the term which will give non zero value are only this. Today there are some more, uh, I will send you my paper okay, where I wrote all this. So, u n plus 2, the term in the right hand side will be u n plus 3, u n plus 4, the ending is 0, right, because I am keeping only u n plus 1 and u n plus 2. So, there are simple logic to rule out the other two terms, and only term survives is this. Okay. Now, R h s, which is minus i a 1 k, so this is the Feynman diagram I wrote n plus 1, n plus 2. I am going to substitute this u n plus 2 here. Is that clear? These are RHS of the equation which I'm, I am, I wrote uh, in my previous slide. And this is going to make some correction to nu bar, okay? that is what I am looking at. So, u n plus 2 I just substitute. So, this part is, you can see u n plus 2 is here, i a 3 k n is here, a 3 uh, the a 1 is here, but i and minus i will give you 1, right. So, this is become 1. So, a 3 a 1 is here, k n and k n will be k n squared, there is u n less which is uh, here and u n plus 2 and u n plus 1, right. So, there is u n plus 1 which combines with this u n plus 1 star. So, I got this, but this is t and t prime, please note is t and t prime, two different times and this guy is also t prime. So, there is a bit of problem. I want u n of t, right. Uh, my equation in the previous slide is u n of t, but this guy is u n t prime. Problem, no? Because I want at time t and I have this integral inside and I need to integrate this, this stuff. So, what should I do? So, I make an approximation, okay. This is called Markovian approximation. So, Markovian approximation says that this integral, this integral gets maximum contribution near t equal to t prime. So, this t prime is uh, uh, from 0 to t, but it gets maximum contribution when t prime is close to the upper uh, limit. So, I have integral 0 to t e to power minus. So, let us imagine that I have e to power minus. Uh, 
टी अल्फा डी टी तो अंडर वॉट कंडीशन ऑफ अल्फा आई विल गेट मैक्सिम कंट्रीब्यूशन फॉर टी इन द अपर अपर लिमिट ओके यू कैन इजिली आर्ग्यू वेन अल्फा इज लार्ज देन यू कैन गेट मैक्सिमम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन वेन टी प्राइम इज क्लोज टू टी अल्फा शुड बी लार्ज एंड दिस कॉल मार्कोव इन अप्रोक्सीमेशन ओके सो दिस अप्रोक्सीमेशन इज मेड देन दिस गाय कम्स आउट इज अ टी ओके so basically we can integrate this minus alpha t uh, okay so you need to do plotting and so on you can convince yourself that this is happens when alpha is large if alpha is small then all of them will contribute if alpha is large then it turns out actually it is so it it drops suddenly in, uh, near t and that's where big contribution comes from here you requires bit of plotting and it, you you get that so this un t prime becomes un t this is a critical approximation this is called markovian approximation which is made and then we get uh, okay so so this guy will come out now i have i'm left with these two greens functions eh, sorry greens function and correlation function now i need to do the integral otherwise i can't get a number and these are some funny functions right i mean i don't know what they are well it's pretty hopefully we can simplify it but it's a i don't know what the function is so we made and we came in other approximation that this greens function is exponential minus new k n square t minus t prime so this new n is a renormalized viscosity or viscosity at k n so new n k n square t minus t prime this is the greens function and correlation function t bar the time dependence is exactly same as this new k n square t minus t prime you can easily check that new n k n square is dimension of time inverse okay and this cn is equal time correlation this is 5/3 or this minus 2/3 this is the kolmogorov spectrum this this guy okay i plug it in now it's easy no i mean this integral is basically exponential i can easily integrate them right the two exponential in fact they get added up okay so these are critical assumptions of rg and once i put that then i get uh, this so the integral you see there are two exponentials i can easily integrate them uh, and that comes in the bottom so my integral of the first diagram the two feynman diagrams the first diagram is this and this is nicely unt and this is well i don't know what is cn plus 2 right now but i will assume well i'm going to do some assumption again and i don't know what is nu n plus 1 but i'll make some assumptions and i get a number okay right now i1 is some function of cn plus 1 a uh, cn plus 2 and nu n okay i need to do some more work uh, similar procedure can give you i2 the second feynman diagram this second feynman diagram okay uh, this is cn plus 2 uh, you can look at the feynman diagram and this is the correlation of the un plus 2 okay i can add them up and i'll get this so nu n plus 1 squared is nu bar n squared so this i'm sending it to the left like i i did know i mean so this there was plus sign in the left uh, in the previous slide it became minus sign and i get this now believe me this quantity is small nu bar is much small compared to nu n okay uh, so this guy goes as k minus 4/3 for small k this will be large number right and nu bar is a constant so we can ignore this so that's where the microscopic uh, kinematic viscosity is not playing much role in atmospheric diffusion we can ignore it so now i need to compute this so basically i i, need, I know what is nu n but nu n is function of nu n plus 1 and nu n plus 2 and correlation functions 
So, this is where a new scheme well rather one new idea comes for self consistent uh, closure. So, assume that new n plus 1 follows something following Kolmogorov theory. So, correlation function I just replace Kolmogorov spectrum and for nu n I again use dimensional analysis and I write nu n k n squared is nu star Kolmogorov constant square root epsilon 1 third k n to the 2 third ok. Nu n is k n minus 4 third multiply by k n uh, squared is k n 2 third ok. Substitute it here. In fact, it is pretty funny you know why I am using uh, k n square root. So, it become clear that k n uh, the Kolmogorov constant sorry not k n k Kolmogorov square root k Kolmogorov will get cancelled is easy for to see there is nu here and there is a nu here nu here and this nu will become uh, square of square root and that will cancel from Kolmogorov here. So, Kolmogorov constant gets cancelled and you get only one variable nu star ok. So, there is a nu star coming from here and there is a nu star coming from here this nu star squared Kolmogorov constant will be one. So, this this together will give you k Kolmogorov and this also gives you k Kolmogorov they cancels. Epsilon will also cancel right this epsilon 1 third epsilon 1 third epsilon 2 third and epsilon 2 third here cancels. So, everything is gone now you get new uh, new star squared is just this this function of a 1 a 2 a 3 which we know and b b is that expansion parameter for the wave numbers. So, I know the new uh, new star ok. So, I have computed uh, this viscosity renormalized viscosity ok great no I mean this is what is done. So, it will function of b small b and b can range from as I said it should be greater than 1. So, we took from number from 1.2 to 2 ok and a 1 a 2 a 3 I already have uh, told you 